What is up, everybody? I see Mike here. Episode 21 of our Hearts of Iron 4 Let's Play series. In the last episode, we continued our war efforts and actually sent in our first attack. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with that campaign and hope it continues to go as well as it did in the last episode. So just a little update, we are actually pushing into Italy. We have a small invasion force here from the UK that we're trying to hold on to, but the front really got lopsided. And as you can see, we really aren't holding much down here and they're getting pushed. Um, so I'm trying to combat that by creating a front this way. Um, but we'll see how that works. We shall see. But right now I'm getting them in position to do so. They're currently not executing their plan. As soon as they are in position, I am going to hit this mark. But they are just majorly, majorly coming over here. But this, this could work in our favor. I could do a push here later on Germany if Germany keeps pushing. Yeah, they're just flooding troops, flooding troops. This is kind of scary. Kind of scary. Okay. It's going to take a little bit for them to get in position, unfortunately. I just don't understand why no one's holding a front line here. Like, literally no one is. Yeah. And we've already, uh... Already lost our front line. Maybe do something like that. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Got to figure something out. Let's check our execution over here. Still risky. It looks like we had a little bit of a push here. Interesting enough. America just flooding troops in constantly. One in this little battle here. I'm just real worried about this. This is not very uh, straightforward. I mean, it's very weird how this is happening. Um, which makes me worried because it's not very advantageous for us the way we're attacking. It's kind of interesting to see take place. See here, I wanted to create a front line. But maybe we should just do something like that. A little bit more simple. Man, what's going on? So frustrating. Bunch of green and a bunch of red. Ugh. Very disturbing. Okay. I really would like to kind of poke Germany right now. Just right through the middle. Just freaking... Nice jab in the jaw. I just noticed my research. God dang it. Okay. Um, we're 1942. This is all pretty much researched. This is all behind... Um, we need to do that one. Um, I think at this point I'm ready to create divisions, right? Let's see, check our production. Uh, we're still not quite ready. There's no point in creating divisions if I can't even do my reinforcements, so I might as well just wait. Alright, let's hit play. I really want to kind of sure up this, this front here. I want to get this fixed. I'm just trying to figure out what the best possible way would be. Because they are sending a lot of troops down here to do this. And I've got 44 divisions. 
But they are still constantly moving. I mean, they're not going to be in position. This is so awkward. A lot of attrition due to the mountains. And because technically this is ally territory, it's harder. F I can't build a front line. I guess I can, actually. Um, could do, yeah, defensive line along this border. I think that's what we need to do. Okay, so let's pause. Let's just let's just do this. We're just gonna have to revert everything, unfortunately. This is what I need. Yeah, see, the, what the heck? I can't expand the line here? I have to go along this border. Wow. Okay, we'll do that. Please. Please do that. Let them get established. See if we can hold on to that front there. Make sure we still have Navy superiority in this sea so they can't get sneak in any invasions behind us. We're good. Okay. Okay, we just uh, researched another fighter, so we'll need to change to that. Or a bomber, actually. Um... Let's do this close air support, 50% on that one. Production. Let's just double check all these. Make sure we're using the 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 best one. Um, I don't want to do the tank destroyers right now. Anti-tank, that's good. Fighter 3 is what I just researched, so that needs to be upgraded. Tactical bomber. We're good on that. And then close air support. Um, I'm upgrading now, so all is good. Double check our efforts down here. I think if we give it enough time, this will, uh, this will sort itself out. Honestly, I'll be able to kind of poke right here, surround. I may be able to do that sooner than later. If we can kind of connect that. Just kind of attack this right here. Let's do that. And cut everybody off. Now, for some reason, my yellow divisions aren't assigned. There we go. I want you guys assigned to that. And I want that deleted, I guess. Oh, wow. What the heck? Okay, hold on. Front line. Should be should not have to be this complicated. All right, we'll delete again. Delete all orders. Front line. I want to start there. Oh, now it does that one. What the heck? Okay. And then I want an offensive line of something like that. Please and thank you. Alright, just execute it. Just just do it. This isn't the best strategy right now. We're I'm not showing a good example of how to fight wars. But this has to be fixed. I'm kinda giving up a lot of land here. Maybe even some troops down here are gonna get stuck. Hopefully they get back in time. Another research was finished and I didn't do it. Uh, check this. 216 days. Artillery. Let's do rocket artillery. Alright. Golden, golden, golden. if I can do that push. What are our numbers at? 1.37 mil. Pretty good. Should I do it, boys? Should I do it? Let's go. Let's attack. Alright. 
Why not? Why the hell not? F you, Germany. We're going balls to the wall in this episode. Just made the executive decision to do so. So this is where shit is gonna hit the fan. All right, so I need to get I need to get my fighter planes moving up towards that part. Western Germany. I've got some there. Uh, these guys, please go there. These guys go there. Um, there. All right. These are all signed missions. Good. 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 All right. There we go. We have air superiority. Perfect. Now we gotta win. Now we gotta win. A lot happening here, so um, actually probably should bump it down just a little bit. Um, just want to keep an eye on our front line. See how it gets really crooked here. We want to make sure that we're not losing on any of these holes where we get surrounded. Ensure the front line remains intact as much as possible. Looking good though, looking good. We're seeing some red, but it looks like a lot of it's turning green. Did an encirclement there. Very solid stuff. The main thing is the breakthrough right here is really high where my tanks are. They're going to push right towards the center, which is what we want. Kind of go for Frankfurt and hide behind this river. Meanwhile, we just want to hold off here. We don't really want to do too much. Um, besides, uh, yellow is attacking here to try to maybe sure up this front line a little bit. Uh, we're getting some help. Always useful. But uh, we are pushing successfully into Germany now. Awesome stuff. It is official. We look to be stronger than the Germans. But production is going to be... Why is this... Why did all the factories... What? Okay, hold on. What happened here? Why do I only have 21 factories? Has that always been the same amount? What? No factories assigned. I am surely confused. Okay, hold on. We need to do this then. We need factories ASAP. More factories. And I want all those up to the top. We've got to get this done. I don't want to do that. Okay. Shift click, click, click. Wait. All the way to the top, bro. There we go. Alright. That is done. Plenty of factories being built. That will help with production. Let's hit play. I'm confused at how this all changed. Now, I know I switched a couple of them. Is it due to the product? No, the production efficiency is down because they don't have factories. I'm so confused. Whatever it is, what it is. Gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. But the most important part is we are successfully pushing, which is always a good thing. Um. Offensive line, just making sure it was it was good. All right, let's go back up to four speed. Double check our line here. Make sure nothing crazy is happening. Solid all the way. I mean, there's just tons of troops between us and and all the other countries that are helping us. I mean, this is crazy. The numbers are going to be skyrocketing now. They were at 1.3. Now they're already at 1.4. But so is ours. We've lost 155,000 um, and 129 divisions total. Perfect. Perfecto. It's looking good. We're winning some countries back. We've got Belgium showing up. Switzerland's pretty much back. 
Uh, Luxembourg's back, and we're just continuing that push. Very solid stuff. I love to see this. And honestly, I mean, I didn't want to be the first one, but it actually, you know, in the long run is going to be better because now I'm going to have all of Germany's factories and all of that, not another country, um, which would be cool. That would be useful. What is Japan doing? They're still fighting. Now, when Japan gets involved, that's when things are even going to get more interesting. But it looks like Germany's dumping a few more troops in the center, so it's getting a little bit tougher for us. But all in all pretty solid it needs to be more pushing here we are winning though basically we just don't want big indentions we want it to kind of go up evenly just want to make sure that's the case these guys aren't aren't attacking too much they just need to hold off um, what happened here I don't understand this why does this happen Like, how does that even happen? Right click and drag the mouse on one of the borders. I don't know. Man, that's... This whole area is just effed up. Uh... Construction speed. Civilian conversion. Let's do that one. Let's check our resources. Uh, research, trade. Okay. Oh yeah, we have big surpluses. Surplus of seven. Good there. Need eight oil. Okay, just see what we need. I need a little bit of rubber. We can get that from the Netherlands. Should open up some more civilian factories from the US. Good. Awesome. Now we have a lot more factories to work with. Always good. Um, these are all getting worked on. Let's add one to every one. There we go. Take two away here and I want more on the artillery. Okay, so we got a little bit of production efficiency problem. Let that kind of work itself up. Let's check on the war efforts. Oh, more factories. We got five more factories. Uh, now I want to add more infantry equipment. And we'll shift click that to the top. And if it'll scroll, let's go down one. And we'll max that one out there. Perfect. So that'll help with this number, get that a little bit fixed so we can actually start doing stuff. Uh, more oil is needed. So there you go. And I've got more naval factories. So let's... Let's build... Destroyer. Okay. Um, I didn't want infinity though. Let's hold on. Why isn't this changing? There we go. Let's build five more. Alright. That's Dunsky's. Little bit of a... Sorry for the dog there. Little bit of a trouble here, it looks like. Um, mainly because probably my... Front line for these guys is pretty narrow. Okay, I'll have them do that. How's uh, how's it looking down here? We managed to close this off, which is good. And I have all my divisions pushing out of this one province. Jesus. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to end the episode here. 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But I will see you guys in episode 22.